Hey guys, it's Woody the Unexceptional Gamer, and I'm first of all so glad to be home. I loved my trips, the dancing thing was cool, the shooting thing, which you guys don't know much about yet, was really cool, but um, I'm, I'm happy to be home. I had breakfast on the patio with my wife and kids, and, and it was awesome. But uh, that's not what this video is about. What this video is about is Black Ops 2 and the zombie mode. So whenever I talk about new things, I try to give you guys some level of confidence on how like accurate this is, whether this is me putting two and two together, or whether this comes directly from Treyarch. And this comes directly from Treyarch studio head Mark Lamia, and uh, there'll be a link to the article in the description of this video if you'd like to read about it yourself. But um, two pieces of news, the big ones on Black Ops. So uh, one cool thing about Black Ops that's going to be different is that it's going to have eight players in it. And this to me is a big deal for this reason. When I play, say Spec Ops for example, right, there's only two people in that. And because of that, sort of the vibe changes, the mood changes. When I play with two guys, or one other guy, it's like it's me and it's him and we're kind of I don't know. I, I'm looking for a better word than intimate, right? Like, it, it's not a party atmosphere. It's not, you know, a bunch of guys goofing and joking around. Instead, it's like two guys trying to get something done, working together, and it, and it just changes the way that things work compared to... When you have four guys in zombie mode, then, you know, everybody's laughing and goofing around, and it's it's fun in that way. Well, now it's going to go to eight people, and that changes it even further, right? I just, I'd like to try that. I'd like to give it a go, and I, I, I just, I prefer the party dynamic to the sort of small group common goal type dynamic. So, so eight people on a zombies map. The other thing is, more zombies, bigger maps. Now... I don't know about you guys, I, I've never been lacking for enough zombies in zombie mode, so I don't know what they mean by more zombies. <laughs> Maybe more different kinds of zombies, I'm not sure, but uh, it seems like there's plenty of zombies there for me. But, but uh, bigger maps, that's kind of a cool thing. Zombie maps are already pretty big to me, but they must be doing something so that they can make the zombie maps bigger and they can have more zombies. And what we're really seeing here is zombies switching from sort of an afterthought that gets tacked on to a Call of Duty game and multiplayer being like the core of it, maybe even multi and single player being the cores of it, to zombies being a first class Call of Duty citizen, you know, where, where people understand. Then I think it's really true that people enjoy zombies as much as they enjoy the other two aspects of the game. So, so yeah, that, that's really cool. In the article, they describe it as a technology upgrade, where they put zombies into the multiplayer game engine, and now it's this new thing. And what that's going to give us is game modes, game modes that we haven't had before. So, I don't know what kind of game modes. They didn't even give any hints. Like, a, a part of me runs into, like, well, what if there's capture the flag, right? And your goal is for you and your team to get through the zombie hordes and bring flags back to the other area. But that's not very creative. You know, I, I hope that they're better than me at making games. They should be, right, given that they're game designers. But, um, but yeah, so they're going to... They're going to have new zombie game modes that are more than just, uh, I call it Horde, I don't know. Like, I, I played a little Gears of War, and they called it Horde mode, where you just sort of stay alive for as long as you can. And that's the purpose of zombies, I think. You can't win it. You just play until and, and you die. <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. So, uh, um, there's soon there's going to be, like, other game modes in zombies other than just Horde, where the objective is to do more than just not die. So, so that's a really cool thing. Eight people bigger maps, more zombies, and new game modes and objectives as opposed to just staying alive. That's what we're going to expect from zombies. There'll be a link in the description. And uh, the other cool thing, and this, by the way, is less reliable than the, than the first thing. Like, David Vondahar specifically mentioned that he doesn't like it. I'm still learning to use this gun. As, um... You know what? Actually, I should talk about the gun for just a moment here. Sorry. I know you're interested in what Vondahar said. But, um... The Scorpion, I've discovered, is to be used like a shotgun. Or this G18, I mean, is, is to be used like a shotgun. You need to use it from the hip, and you need to use it up close, and it's fairly decent. What I'm doing here, like trying to use it like an assault rifle where I aim down sights and pick people off at a distance, that's not a good way to use this gun. But I've, I've gotten a little better since I recorded this gameplay. One of you guys actually gave me this tip, and I tried it, and you were right. But um, back on topic, there's going to be a new option in multiplayer for Black Ops where you can mute all but party. So you guys know, you know, there's this cool party system where you can sort of join you and your friends before you enter a game. And, uh, you know, not this is not an Xbox party, but uh, like a PS3, Xbox, whatever. And then you guys all enter a game at the same time. 
with one button, you're going to mute everyone that you didn't join the game with, which I think is awesome because there's a couple things that happen. One, you get trash talkers, right? You know, and uh, they're just yipping and yapping and whatever. Or maybe you want to say things that you don't want to share with everybody or, you know, that you know would just annoy them, right? Like private conversations or something that would frustrate everyone except the people that actually care about what you're saying. So, um, so yeah, I've been waiting for this button where you can mute everyone you don't know <laughs> and, uh, and it's coming. It, unofficially to Black Ops 2. So that's not a lock or anything. But David Vondahar tweeted to that effect, and that would be a really cool thing. So uh, so anyway, those are my two new pieces of Black Ops news. In addition to that, I am home and I am happy, and uh, my audio won't suck anymore <laughs> and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I ought to get shooting on my microwave series because I just got here. I don't know what it's going to be. I'm looking at light bulbs and marshmallows and things that go boom. We'll see. All right, two videos you may have missed that I think are actually pretty good. Uh, the top one is how to ask out a girl. I get it in Mail Monday all the time, and I realized I never really covered it, and I was like, oh, this is a good video idea. So I cover, like, how to ask out a girl with your different levels of shyness, you know, whatever might fit for you. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. And the bottom one is Mail Monday with FPS Russia. So, you know, it, this is the second one we've done. They always turn out super funny because he's a super funny guy. We go through some of your less serious questions. You know, I don't want <laughs> to throw anybody who's having a really hard time with their life in front of FBS Russia, but uh, it's, it's a good time, so you can check that out, and have a nice day.